Alright, let's keep going. Seafoam Island's expansion in Heart Gold. That was amazing, I'll say that. That one of the best examples of upgrading really undetailed regions is actually Heart Gold, where they took a lot of areas that were really small and like they that were just there just because and they really just expanded the crap out of them uh, although I will say that there are a few reasons I I can understand why they didn't do it I'm just kind of disappointed that they didn't uh, one of them is the Pokemon Tower they kind of remain. I think they kept it just as small as they did before. And the other one was the changes made to the changes made to the power plant. And I will eventually go to the power plant. They're uh, they're the same changes that were made to between this game and Gold. Which is kind of lame, because it, it turned a power plant from kind of almost like a haunted industrial region into an actual power plant. Which, granted, makes sense. But... <laughs> uh, it seems like something cool they could have done a lot more with. Okay. Let's keep fighting some trainers. I think I've run out of PP for Psychic. The uh, Executor always looks like he's dancing. I'm pretty sure, like... No, actually, I think his animation in Heart Gold is just him kind of, like, nodding his head. He, I don't think he's kicking up his legs that much. Alright, let's keep exploring this area. Check out my buff physique. Well, you're in the water, bro. I didn't. I didn't have my bring my safety goggles, which is actually an item in Pokemon. I believe I mentioned that. Okay. Minim I didn't even realize I could learn that. But then again, I've, I've become really accustomed to seeing the Star Family in an incredibly aggressive role. Uh, oh, that is a trolley combination. Is like increasing your evasion and then using a move that never misses, so I can't counter it with similar tactics. So I'm, even though my team is struggling, it is mainly because uh, we took a lot of punishment for the sake of being able to capture Articuno. And I didn't even give it a silly name. How far away is LeBlob from... Okay, still far away. I swam here from Cinnabar Island. It wasn't easy, I'll tell you. Oh, I swam all the way here from Future City. And that certainly wasn't easy, I'll tell you. I must say that the level jump from... Articuno, given the surrounding regions, is pretty insane. I mean, this is a, just a standard trainer level, just like 31. And Articuno was level 50. Perhaps they intended for you to come here a bit over leveled and then just gave you all these trainers as cannon fodder. I'm so disappointed. So is my Squirtle. I never took him out of his box. And I never will, because I have Cthulhu. He warms my heart. To see the efforts that I've gone through just pay off so well in my new tentacle god of surfing. I was waiting. This is a turn-based battle, and you still failed. 
Cinnabar is a volcanic island. I I wondered why they didn't take this opportunity in the remake to actually show the volcano, because it isn't here and just kind of pops out in uh, Heart Gold. It's just kind of there, just like oh, there it is. The one they call Pokemon Mansion. You have a lot of friends. Linking up with the usual friends is fun, of course. But how about you visit a union room? Oh yeah, the <laughs> the what's it called? The the union room. I, I think I described it as just a chat room. But e if you're close enough to people that they'll be in the union room, you can just talk with them. <laughs> Maybe it's for conventions. This game is Japanese, after all. Let's see if somebody else has something. Alright, it's rare Pokemon for examination. I believe this whole area just gives you a ton of trade opportunities. Raichu for Electrode. I think I... No, I don't have a Raichu because I never got a Pikachu. You have a Venonat, want to trade you for a Tangela? I think it's a terrible trade. I found this most remarkable fossil inside Mount Moon. Uh, okay, then I'm pretty sure I shouldn't tell you that I stole your other fossil, because I beat you in a Pokemon battle. Here to teach you a new move. Teach you to a Pokemon and watch the fun unfold. It's called Metronome. No, I don't want to use Metronome. An Amber Pipe. Eevee can evolve into one of three kinds of Pokemon. You are far, far behind the times. Even in this game... Pokemon, or Eevee had already gained two more evolutions. Eeveelutions, if you will, before he would later all go on to gain three more. So anyway, now with my healed Pokemon, how should I navigate? Let's see. Dodzy no longer needs whatever that is. Leblob, and this guy probably do still need what they already have. Okay. Poison Pokemon are actually very prevalent uh, in Pokemon Mansion, so I probably am still going to need Coconut Trio. But let's see what Pokemon has now that I have money. How much money do I actually did I gain during that whole time? Because I had almost nothing before. Wow, it's still really little. Um, the trip out is a nightmare, so I'm actually going to buy an escape rope. Okay, so now it's time to go to Pokemon Mansion. By the way, this island, I would be remiss to mention the missing no glitch, but it's not possible here. Quite the odd fellow. He lives on the island since way before the lab was born. The lab was built. I'm really not a fan of this, the music for this area. It just it sounds like noise to me. Oh, I should probably give Dodzy the Soothe Bell, since it's apparent that he still hasn't gotten the max power out of his return. Ah, man. There's another area where encounters are really damn bad. But then again, but thankfully, items are pretty good to come by. Okay, I guess it's the rocks on the other side. There- Wow, okay, I forgot that it was here. I'd mentioned that there was one last moonstone, but I couldn't remember where it was. Oh, now you show up on the second attempt. You deserve this pain. You can also find mucks here, which granted would have sped up a lot of the preceding training sessions, but whatever, it is what it is. Alright, I'm gonna run away from the majority of the battles, but the ones that I think I have to fight, I'll probably just psychic them. Wow. Now they're common. This is... 
this is not frustrating in the fact that I don't that I don't like Grimer because I've, I've grown an appreciation for Grimer and Buck, but but it's frustrating when it took forever to get Grimer. Like I think I edited out most of my waiting because it would have taken because it would have just been such a long video. Okay. Okay. On the right side is actually just an exit to the laboratory, or out of the laboratory. And on the left side was an exit from the area we have to actually have to go to. Okay. Whoa, hey. Encountered this guy with a yellow cap. Oh, it's a young kid, a youngster. I guess he's just exploring the dark, derelict Pokemon Mansion. Youth, uh, the curiosity of youth. Let's see. Oh, the blob went to level 38. Is he gonna evolve next? Turn. Because I thought it was level 37 before, and I was wrong, so I could be wrong again. But Coconut Trio should destroy these guys. Because he can he has the right attack. Oh! Never mind. Okay, I guess he has something different. Let's go over the Giga Drain. Strange how Raticate is a Pokemon that like Pokemon uh, Raticate is a Pokemon that I never really lost to on a when a trainer uses them, but when they're in a wild battle, they're generally fast enough to stop me from running away, and they'll just quick attack or pursue me. So. Evolution time? <gasps> yes! He's finally roamed enough dark and disgusting corners to attain enough mass to reach his true form. What up, guys? The blob has turned into muck. So, Muck stats are actually really, really, really good, actually. Its special defense just skyrocketed, and its health is, a, is I think, the highest out of all the guys here, in spite of the fact that he's not that low, in spite of the fact that he's fairly low level. Yeah, level 38, he's below Funky Monkey, and uh, Coconut Trio, and Dodsey, and yet he has more health than all of them. So now the only one le left to evolve is Thulu. Alright, but unfortunately I... Th what the hell was that pi high-pitched noise? Unfortunately, an issue with Thulu is he's nowhere near as fast as I wanted him to be. Ah, man. I guess I gotta somehow work around it and make him very defensive. But I didn't really want him to be defensive. Ah, dang it. Oh, god, I've never gotten in this song this deep. It gets worse. Ugh. Uh, let's see. I'm not gonna give him an Everstone. That's evil. Give him the XP share. Secret switch. Press it. Also, notice the Mewtwo's. Whoa! A Weezing? That's a really cool wild Pokemon to find. I probably should have not have used Psychic. Oh, it critted. I actually thought he would live a Psychic, believe it or not, because, well, Weezing's really dang defensive. Then again, I don't think he's that special defensive, so I probably would just do something really stupid. Crap, that is a high level Raticate. I'm not even gonna try to run away because I know he's gonna cut. Yup, pursuit. This guy's evil, I swear. Ooh. 
What? What does he have? An orange berry. Huh, maybe I should have had Thulu come out first with Thief. Then again, I would have had to use Thief first. And then think that a Pokemon would have berries on them. When that's actually quite rare. Alright. I'm not even trying to catch him. I just want him to get taken down. Because he deserves to feel pain. He deserves to know that every trainer he came across, that he pursued it all those years ago. Well, one of them came back. And he's not going to let him get away with it. Oh, it's a her. But yeah, the, the, re the weird reason I actually specifically went after this guy is actually just his level. I figured it would be too difficult to actually run away from him, given his ho how high li his level is. Especially since Raticate is a much faster Pokemon than Dugtrio. Or, not Dugtrio. A different kind of trio. Coconut Trio here. Ah, not that many... Not that much experience. I am disappointed. One protein. That's really nice. Okay... Um, Dodgy or Funky Monkey? I think... Yeah, I'm gonna go with Funky Monkey. Okay. So at this point, I've done everything I can on this floor. So I just go up to the second one. You can actually just go up to the second floor and not even need to have that switch press. Oh, crap. Same level as before. Wow, even if I did escape, he would have caught me... I believe if your opponent actually does attempt to escape, or I guess withdraw in an actual battle, uh, Pursuit will do double damage. And considering I already have a type disadvantage to Pursuit, that would be brutal. Oh, oh, crit! Nice. And Coconut Trio, level 40. Which I believe is the ideal level to be at at this point. Okay. Now there's just a random guy here, and he spun around and saw me. I can't get out. This whole place is one big puzzle. Bro, you just gotta take one step down. Or even just go down one floor and take an escape rope. This guy has the most cheesy, wonderful smile on his face. The wow! I've seen people with Bulbasaurs, and I've seen people with Squirrels, but I think this is the first time I've seen somebody who has a Charmander. But then again, it's also unevolved at level 34, so what the heck are you doing? But then again, it's also a very good thing for me to get this guy, because I'm pretty sure Charmander and Charmeleon both give special attack EVs, which both uh, Executor and Almanite can use very, very well. Yes, thank you for making my attack stronger. Oh no, my bag of loot. Ah, oh, one step. Ah, oh, for a second that. Okay, no items here. So I guess his loot didn't drop everywhere. Holy crap, even at a low level like 32, I can't escape? How fast is this Raticate? Oh dear. And I can't one-shot him. This might two-shot, but I really don't want to waste all this PP. Ah, oh, man. An Orenberry? I almost feel like catching this guy, but I don't need more than one Raticate. Hyper Fang. Let's see how much this does. Not much at all. Super Fang would be a better move. I 
At this point, I'm just damaging them because I don't want to get I don't want to get rid of my final Giga Drain PP. Leech Seed just to make sure he's gone. And to get some health back. Yep. Glad I took that extra... Uh, that extra little bit. Alright. Oh, right, they changed it around a bit. Okay, so there's Zinc. So, increase the special defense. Um, I believe Liblob was the special defensive wall, so give it to him. Give him some vitamin. Give some vitamins to the toxic sludge. All right. Oh, crap. I really hope he doesn't hit me with Pursuit. Damn it! Great, the get every too scary face. So now, maybe now it's even impossible to leave. Oh, jeez. This guy's being a jerk. Oh, my goodness. Hyper Fang doesn't do a damn thing. Okay, it kind of does. Crap! Here I am just trying to escape. I think this is like one of the reasons I really hated exploring this area as a youngster, because it would just. Poke the Pokemon battles here seem to take forever, and the Pokemon themselves just come off as incredibly obnoxious to actually fight against. Alright, so I'm going to put Thulu in front, really just because uh, Coconut Tree has run low on uh, PP. Unfortunately, the issue is he's kind of slow, so... Not sure how well he can handle this. Ah, I found Calcium, which I believe increases the special attack stat. Okay, uh, I think Thulu is probably the most appropriate one to use it on. Wow, I'm really surprised I haven't found more hidden items. I mean, hell, there's burglars. Usually that's a sign that there's something to burgle. Holy crap, Weezing is actually faster than me. Then again, he's not that much lower level than I am. Let's go for Oh dear, please no poison. I did not know that poison attacks were actually not effective against rock types. I figured ground types, but not rock types. Wow, that took him down. He should've just let me run away. Would've made his day a lot better. Okay, so now with that secret switch, this shutter should be open. And pathway up here is now available. And this is how you're intended to get to the basement. Okay, now I got iron. Coconut Trio is my physical wall, so I'll give it to him. 